Hello and welcome to the Solar Butterfly Studio and today I'm joined by Auster and yeah, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your company? Hello, my name is Auster, uh, I'm CEO of Stuart Energy. Uh, we are a startup for clean tech technologies. Um, we are starting from EV charging, so we are developing a hardware solution and software solution for EV charging. Basically that's it. Yeah, and uh, how did uh, how did you uh, start in this uh, direction? What made you decide to start a new new company for for charging stations? Uh, to be honest, at the beginning we were thinking about energy transition as a you know as a whole, and we started to uh, to think how the energy flows in uh, in the houses. Uh, let's say multiple houses, the business centers, and etc. And we saw that um, okay, we have EV charging coming, we will have batteries coming and we, we do have a solar PV uh, that are already quite usual for everyone. So yeah, we, we thought about the connectivity of uh, all these spring things and um, we started to do it three years ago, but we saw that the market is not ready. So we are still working on that, okay. uh, but we started to, um, to work uh, on EV charging. Okay. Just to, and to, to start. Yeah, <laughs> and your EV charging stations are smart, right? So um, if you have solar in your house, you can integrate this smart with your, if you have an electric car. Yeah, obviously yeah. <laughs> you have an electric car, if you have a station, then you can, uh, yeah, always if you, if the sun is shining and you're generating energy, you can use this to charge your car, right? Yes, yes, yes totally right. You can use surplus energy of uh, PV installations to charge your EV car. Uh, also, we, we are suggesting um, dynamic load balancing solutions, so it means that uh, if house has some extra energy that uh, charger can use to charge um, EV car quicker, so it can be done like that, just to balance the grid um, in terms of solar, in terms of uh, electricity usage all over the house, and in terms of mm. uh, EV charge. Yeah, that's a that's a big problem, right? That um, you because yeah, the solar energy is not always it's coming as you would want it, <laughs> and yeah, and balancing is also and helping helping the grid. Um, in uh, yeah, being uh, s stable, mm, and is it possible? Is it is it possible for your for your charging stations to be um, yeah grid oriented? So you can would you also be able to discharge maybe even from your car battery into the grid? Yes, yes. Uh, like it depends on the car, not on the charger itself, you know, but uh, I think that it's a future uh, V2G and uh, V2 everything. It's uh, like what we are working on. Uh, this charger is not able to do that by himself, but uh, as I said, our software solution is like we were thinking about um, grid all the time in terms of uh, consumption, in terms of uh, uh, over over voltage and all the things so mm -hmm. yeah that's why we uh, we found out some solutions that you can stop that you can uh, charge more when you can like uh, also we can balance the charger depending on the prices of electricity when it's the prices are very high you don't need to charge mm -hmm. when the prices are lower you can charge more. what uh, would need to happen in this industry to make this uh, the mainstream that um, car batteries can also be used to help the grid stabilize mm -hmm. and be, uh, be used. I think that it's coming, you know, the regulations are coming and it should um, be done until the 25, 2025. So um, we have to have more electricity users, <laughs> especially the cars on the roads <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that will uh, um, erase higher prob problem because now you know when there are not so many cars so the problem is like just upcoming mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> when we will have face a reality it will be like yeah. a very very important issue for all the electricity gr grids um, and especially i believe in germany has quite a big problem with that mm -hmm. and you know but um, but i think that it's uh, everyone's thinking about it ahead and uh, companies are preparing uh, politicians are preparing um, uh, houses will be prepared as well, mm. with batteries, with PV, with EV, everything connected to one. 
Okay, yeah, so Smart. so everybody's ready. It's just uh, yeah about to, uh, to get started. That this is this is um, the car batteries can also be used to have the grid mm -hmm. out. Really, really useful. Okay, what made you um, go into this sustainability um, sector? Domain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me, myself, I was like uh, <laughs> trying to, sus uh, to live sustainable living from the uh, beginning because my mom was kind of uh, very aware of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah, I was, um, uh, I was like throwing rubbishes one kilometer away, uh, away of my house because we had just my only um, recyclable uh, garbage bag. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> So it just started and after um, I started to work in, in P with PV installations 10 years ago. Uh, I was involved in many, many different projects. Uh, um, one of them is quite, um, quite nice uh, and uh, if you have time you can visit it. It's Miesta Laboratoria. We, uh, we created a community center uh, who helps people to reuse, renew and uh, use all the things. Every, all the interior is made of uh, old old furniture, let's say uh, doors from hosp hospital was uh, made uh, mm -hmm. to be <laughs> to be uh, furniture yeah. and, and stuff yeah and we are doing we were doing myself I was doing some um, workshops how to you know use your t-shirt to make uh -huh. the bag <laughs> uh -huh. and okay. so on so it, 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 it grows just it grew on me naturally mm. like and yeah this energy sector was very very interesting yeah and this was like the uh, logical mm -hmm. um, next step um, to do this on a on a bigger scale yes, and yes. like create a company that has this in this in focus. Okay, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Where where can we find you on? Um, does your company have uh, social media? Yes, um, we have uh, we have uh, StuartEnergy.com. It's our <laughs> website, and we have a uh, Facebook account, LinkedIn account. You know, starting just starting, but yeah, okay. you can find us there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can uh, find us on uh, solarbutterfly.org and on uh, with the hashtag Midlaso on Instagram and yeah, also on YouTube. And yeah, till next time in the Solar Butterfly Studio. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you.